Okay, so we're good to go. So what's up, what's up, what's up? It's Whitcomb uh, here with some more uh, EDM production as usual. Uh, if you haven't been with me the last couple times, I've been doing a speed run. Uh, so what, what that means for me is I'm trying to produce a quick a track as quick as possible, meaning that the track might not sound that great. I might not like it, but that's not the point. The point is that I want to get better at how fast I am at how fast I am at producing my tracks. And, you know, sometimes it might work out and create an awesome track. Sometimes it might not. But even when it doesn't create an awesome track, I'm hoping I'll be able to kind of demolish the track and cut out bits and pieces that do work somewhere else. So if you have any questions, just hit me up in either the Facebook chat or the, uh, or the Twitch chat. And, um, you know, uh, if you're on Facebook and looking for the full stream, the, the full quality stream, go to redlinereload.com. Um, okay, let's see what we have so far. So far, I have, I have an intro drop and a drop switch, uh, and let's just see what those sound like as of now. Okay, so no build yet. Um, okay, let's see. That's probably what I'm going to start working on first today. Okay, let's see what the drops are like. I think they kind of suck, but we'll see. Okay, um, so there's some stuff I don't like. Uh, there's some stuff that some stuff I do. I like that. I like that nice kind of uh, like great style synth Hoover in here. That's like my favorite part of the track. So, yeah. That's really cool. Um, I hate that stupid wobble. Uh, that doesn't sound very good. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, the good part of the speed run is that who cares? Let's go to the build. Let's see what's the vibe I'm getting. Okay, so let's just duplicate this out and I'll make some modifications to it. But for now, we'll duplicate it out. Okay, and then we'll add a clap to it. What's up, Facebook? Okay, so where were we at? That's uh, that summed up. And then we're gonna do a we're gonna do a, a build snare. We'll do that all the way down at the bottom. Okay, let's find a good snare. I have probably something that doesn't have too much pop. Dry might work. 
Oh, that's got a nice transient. Let's try that just because I could really pull down everything on it. I could really make it uh, minimal and it still might cut through. I love the way I organize, but then sometimes when I can't find stuff, it's a pain. Like, where is my build? Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, turn that L down. And let's, I don't think it's cutting through. And it doesn't even sound like it's on, like it's off beat. Kind of weird. Oh yeah, that's because it wasn't, it wasn't a full bar. Okay, so let's consolidate it, control J. So that it makes it really easy for my duplication. I might need to remove some stuff so it cuts through the mix. Yeah, probably the hi-hats. I'll get rid of the hi-hats here. But for now, let's just make sure it's... And let's just do every other, so... That. And then we'll do duplicate. And where's my drop, pre drop bar? Right there. Or, and this is, I'm just guessing. I think this should. This will work, but if it doesn't, whatever, I'm just kidding. Okay, and then I need a roll. And we'll duplicate that all out. Bet you if I made these, this would be a lot quicker too. So in the future, maybe I'll make a bunch of a bunch of these sequences. That works out pretty well. Um, because it's because it's a trap trap snare, we'll put a uh, pitch on it. So and it's a little louder than I thought, actually. So much percussion in here. Actually, let's pull all this down. There we go. Now I can see more stuff. So we're going to consolidate this. Control J. Mm. There we go. Okay, let's see. Where's that at? Yeah, it could be even quieter, but yeah, I was right because this is uh because it's got a nice transient in that in that intro. Um, I mean, in the right at the beginning of this sample, it cuts through really well. Okay, and now let's do some pitching on it. So I'm gonna go into the envelope, adjust the. Transposition, make sure warp's on, and let's see, uh, just to make sure it doesn't sound too goofy, let's do complex. 
So let's say, let's bring it down to like negative three and then up, up three. Let's see if that works. And actually we'll right here, we'll do a massive spike. Okay, and now let's pull stuff out. You don't need the rest. Sticks to any of this. Uh, and let's see. I think I have a kick going with this 808, so let's just pull that out. So it's just a, a thump. Cool. Um. Okay, and the everything in the intro is louder, but we'll ignore that because that's that's gonna get fixed in the mixing process, which is that's really hard for me to do. Ignore that. <laughs> mids um okay so this intro arp we'll get rid of that too so it'll just be vocals uh and that's good okay so now we need some risers in here so let's build in some risers real quick. Um, we'll call this pre-drop riser. And we'll call this, oh, I need a duplicate of that. So get that and we're gonna call it pre-drop white noise. I spelled white with a T, like Whitcomb. I've been uh, I've been spelling Whitcomb for. And oops, I actually want that. Okay, so we're going to use plugin. We're going to use an operator for this. Starts at seven. Okay, so if you go, if you highlight the whole area you want, and I believe it's control alt, a control alt M. Yeah, there we go. Adds MIDI. Okay, so it's in C. So I'll just paste that long whole thing. I could also hit legato here. That would have done this thing as well. Okay, so just all this. Sign. We want something. Let's go with a square and let's turn this down so it's super loud. Uh, maybe even quieter. Let's go like 30.
Okay, um, and then we'll add some color to it. Just to give it some texture so it cuts through. Okay, so we're going to bounce this up. I might actually have to do a pinch bend to it. I think this is just going to cycle through. Oh, yeah, you know what I need? I need to adjust the fine. Otherwise, yeah, it will do that. Okay, there, so. Wow, that. So actually what we're gonna do, we'll group this. We're gonna send both finds. both finds to macro one and we're going to call and we're going to adjust the rise like so and we should be good and to make sure it fits in we're going to we're going to do some spread to it And we might be able to add some bite to it as well. And actually to make it fun, let's uh let's add some effects to it. So I think I have an idea here. We're gonna rename this rise, rise sum. Call it white. What's up, Andrew? How's it going, man? Okay. Oh uh, yeah. So we're gonna sum that. We're gonna send it to. All the way down, rise some, and we're gonna make that in. And on here, we're going. We're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a compressor so that we can kind of group one here. We're gonna we're gonna group it all together. No makeup needed. I can maybe do even more, go like eight. Okay, and the other key thing is I'm gonna use an auto pan and we're gonna use it to chop it up so it's gonna sound super, super cool. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna go shape all the way square, amount 100 and then phase zero and then rate, let's do like 16. Oops. And is this where the silence is? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna control, we're gonna control J that to consolidate it. Actually, we're gonna call this. That way I can just do that. Gotta make sure it's going right. The rise is gonna go here. I broadcast ended. How did it end on on uh there we go, it's still going. Twitch is lying to me. There we go, there I am. Okay, so now we're gonna use this pre-drop white noise. 
we're going to just take a sample. I could find white noise, but honestly, it's not worth it. Oh, okay, so I got 30 minutes, about 30 more minutes. To, um, so I need to get this draw. I need to duplicate this out once I'm done. Samples. Uh, FX. Risers. Uh, we just want the white noise. Uplift. That should be good. I should be able to make this. We want like, we want, because it spans the full amount. Okay, let's turn this down. 20. And negative 20 is probably a little bit too much. And make sure it's going to the right bus. Right, some. Okay, cool. So let's see how all that sounds together. Hmm. Can't hear it. That's really strange. Yeah, that one doesn't work. Okay, let's see if that one's any. Yeah, that one that one should work. We'll paste that. Um, and the key thing, let's do some volume automation on it so that I can actually hear the white noise. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless. So we'll bring it down like that. We'll bring it up. So this should help bring up everything a little more. Turn it down even more. And we're going to boost it up by like six. Cool. Now I need some stupid pre drop freight. Let's do some digging and let's see what I can find. I think I have some like old school vocals in here somewhere. So maybe get some some funny funk phrase or something. Samples. Uh old school vocal. Uh warning, volume warning. This could be this could be loud. And it goes a little something like this. And it
Check it out, y'all. Check, check, check this out. Okay, that's that's stupid enough to work. Check this out. <laughs> eh, not really. Do you want to have a extremity? Check it. Check it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do you want to have a do it? Do it. Do it. I got it. Oh, this is. So we'll cut that because I got. So let's uh just negative ten on that. Do it. So we'll go like do 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 it. Do it. Do 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 do. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna consolidate consolidate that. Uh then we're gonna do some pitching on it. So let's so it's already warped, so that's cool. So let's just do some transposition. Do three. Three three uh and then make sure it is pro a complex so it sounds good. Okay, and let's do some sort of snare. So where's the main snare? Okay, so there's some drum fills in here. There we go. Okay, so let's see what we got so far. I don't I don't know how I feel about this. But you just gotta keep pushing through. Trying to get quick. Okay, now let's chop up, let's chop up that synth, here we go. So I'm going to use the drop sum and I'm going to do a recording. Uh, we're going to set it to resample and we're going to, we're going to solo both these. Or this, and let's just record it. Okay, so that should be good. Let's make, I think I got all of them. Okay, 
Okay, so this is just gonna be an idea, so we'll just keep those. Let's see if I can warp it and mess it up and stuff. Okay, so then we'll join these together and let's duplicate it, let's reverse it. And let's do the same thing with that because that was kind of cool. So this is a uh, been doing a lot of recently. I've just I chop stuff and warp it and reverse it to get a sweet drop. Oops. On. Uh, I might be able to. And let's do like a pitch bend on this. That could be kind of cool. Just this one sample here. Okay, so we're going to keep the same pitch, but we're going to drop it down by like three. Um, Okay, and the key thing is it needs to be in complex so it actually slides. What's up, Melo Joshua? How's it going, man? Thanks for co coming by. And let's just do that and we'll reverse it. So it's going to slide down. Because it's kind of talking and that's kind of fun. And I think, is that the, is that the duplicate of that now? Yeah. So let's just consolidate all that. So that gives me even more opportunity to chop stuff up. Now let's have some fun with this. Let's let's do what I just did before. Let's do some pitch modulation to this one so it's going to talk a little bit. Complex. Make sure that's there so it doesn't mess stuff up. And then we can make this drop down. Okay, 
Okay, um, and we can do another drop here. Which is probably just going to make it play one thing, because that was already pitch bend. Probably just going to make it play a note. Let's see. Yeah, um... Mel Joshua, I'm not I'm not very familiar with Serum. I've mostly once everyone's been on the Serum train, I've been on the uh Ableton operator train. So I kind of saw that happen and said, you know, that's cool, but I want to go a different way. If you go go check out Redline the 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 twitch.com slash redline reload um and look for um uh, base production. Call it base production by asphyxiate. Or nostalgia, they're using solely serum on those, and they'll have some great advice for just that. Okay, uh, so then the other key part here is making sure everything can fit through. I mean, everything's got gaps, so I can already see where the gaps were before for all the little vocal chops and whatnot. We're going to do that. And that should fit every. And we're going to free sampling. We're actually going to. Fifteen more minutes to go. Hopefully, I can make it drops. Hopefully, I can adjust some things on. Uh, the second half of the drop, uh, duplicate it, and then I'll just duplicate the track double time, maybe make adjustments, and we'll be good to go. Not ideal. Usually, I like to do something more original, but I'm trying to trying to be quick about it. That's what I get. Looking for. Okay, and let's see what we got so far. Okay, um, and so the vocals are definitely box chop is. What is this? Oh, okay.
Let's turn that down. Okay, and then where's the ARP? Intro ARP. That's too loud. And that 808 kick, we can adjust that as well. Kick. Let's on that. Okay. Guess when I Oh yeah, I know what happened. Got to Kick's not really. Okay, so I think it's this box chop can bring can So let's just uh, let's duplicate this out, and we'll make. Some let's just duplicate it all. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of this. So we can just get back to the top as quick as possible.
going to rename that outro. Okay, and then flip them. Take that, we're going to cut it. Hide it over here. And then we're going to slide this. So it's just a reverse of what we had. Make sure that's... Let's see if I can make some changes to this. Um, I think the drop switch, I don't like. Wasn't liking the beat on the drop switch. Yeah, so that double kick doesn't really think so. I think there's too many kicks. Where's it? Oh, where's it start? Here it starts. So it's like, don't. Just solo it. Let's just go to all. We'll just stick with this. Yeah, that's fine. It's less busy than it was. Okay, and then there's a reverb that's cutting through here somewhere. Right here. Not sure why that's hitting like. That's making. Is there anything else? Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. Um. Let's see. Two more things I want to do before I'm done. One of them is going to be create a secondary switch to this drop switch. And then the other thing is going to be take out that stupid base. Is there anything in Eat it. This wub, I think, sucks.
Okay, so let's just start tossing in. Let's just start tossing in my preset. Um, let's save this. Uh, let's see what happens if I do. Just toss them in and see how. Oh man, extra life. Okay, this will take like ten minutes. Well, wow, that's what happens with Max for Live. It just takes forever. I probably need a quicker computer. <laughs> I'm dropping frames. Dropping frames like crazy. No, don't crash the computer. Oh, that sounds... We'll find one that works. Oh, God. Yeah, that's not... Uh, and what if I, what if I take that down? That's kind of cool. Where is that volume? Um, I think it looks like negative. Okay, so let's EQ it and we'll add some effects on it and that should be good. And then I won't do the second drop switch today. I'll do another or just Hmm, okay, and I got an idea for this one. Okay, I have, I have a vibrato plug. Toss on that. Any effects? Yeah, we'll toss this vibrato on it. I think that might make. It. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of cool. Um, and then I think I can bring that out. I already have a saturator on, so we probably want that. Well, no, nah, because it's a saturated. Wheel. Okay, so let's put a little bite on it. We'll use this. I can listen. Let's bring that down. Okay, and press all this together. Uniform. There's a kind of a hard hit at the beginning of it. Wow, 
five. And I think it's pretty close to dead center. Let's see how good my ear. Oh, uh, it's definitely not. It's spread. So let's pull out the spread a little. Um. Uh, and then what I think I might do is I might. I might toss a pan on here. Let's see what happens if I do this. I should do it. Save this and see what I have, and then that's that's what I got for today. I don't think I'm gonna be. I might be mixed down and max during this track next time. I might be working on a different one, but I my goal is I only have one more session with this track. Um, so that's four shows. That's four hours. That's quicker than what I make most tracks with. Usually it takes me like seven to eight sessions, which is about you know, eight hours. So let's click save. So yeah, I, I think if I was putting tons of hours into this track, I would definitely have a different drop switch. I'd change a decent amount of the sounds out. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, this is more of a practice than it is. Than it is like, oh, I'm making a dope track. It's like, no, I'm just learning to stop focusing on something for excessive amount. Which I think is something a lot of producers struggle with. Get stuck in the loop. Don't get anything done. Let's see what I have. I'll listen to the whole thing. It'll be repetitive, but then it gives us and gives me an idea of what. Thank you. 
Uh, and then let's top just to close it off. Where's that do it? Do, 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 do it. Right here. Do it. Do it. Okay. So that's uh that's what I have for today. Uh thanks for tuning in. Next time I do this track, it's gonna be mixed on mastering. Not sure what I'm gonna do Monday. Go goes from six thirty AM. 7.30 a.m. Andrew time every day and Friday. RedlineReload.com. Haven't go check out all the all the other shows that have going on. A lot of good stuff there. Demo listens, DJ mixes, more live production like I'm doing. Specific bass music, uh, bass and growl production. A lot of use theorem. So if you haven't if you haven't checked any of that out, go do that. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. Thanks to, thanks to everyone on Facebook. Thanks to everyone on Twitch. Have a wonderful weekend.